Okay, so in this problem, we're dividing p of x by d of x, okay? So let's set up, first of all, the division. p of x is being divided by d of x, so I'm going to be, we're going to be writing 20x to the fourth in the little house, 20x to the fourth plus 16x cubed plus 9x squared, and then outside is going to be the 4x squared plus one. Anytime you do the division, it's just like uh, when you were in elementary school and middle school where you're dividing a big number by a small number. How many times does the number outside go inside of the number inside? First, start with the terms with the largest exponents. What number do you multiply 4x squared in order to get 20x to the fourth? Well, 4 times 5 is going to give you 20. And then x squared times x squared is going to give you x to the fourth. So 5x squared times 4x squared is going to give you the 20x to the fourth. However, you have to subtract whatever 5x squared times 4x squared plus 1 is from the original polynomial. So let's, let's figure out what that is. What is 5x squared times 4x squared? We already said that's 20x to the fourth. And what is 5x squared plus, I mean, 5x squared times 1? That's going to be plus 5x squared. Now, I put it all the way over here because we're going to be subtracting them from the original polynomial. And I want to align the x squares with x squares, the x to the fourth with the x to the fourth. Anyway, when I subtract, I end up with my x to the fourth going away, and 9x squared minus 5x squared is going to be 4x squared. However, since I didn't subtract anything from this 16x cubed, I just bring it down. 16x cubed plus 4x squared. Now, you move on to the next step, which is asking yourself again the same question. What number do you multiply 4x squared with in order to get 16x cubed? You probably realize that 4 times 4 is 16, and x squared times x is going to be x to the third. So when you multiply 4x times this quotient right here, you're going to end up um, subtracting it from this polynomial over here. 4x times 4x squared is going to be 16x cubed. And this is what we're going to be subtracting. Notice how I put it in parentheses so that I know that I'm going to be subtracting whatever multiplication that is. Okay. Anyway, 4x times 1 is just going to be 4x. So I'm going to write it over here, 4x. And I write it all the way towards the end because, again, here's the x squared. My x's would be over here. When I subtract them, the 16x cubes go away. And I'm going to end up with minus 4x. However, since I didn't subtract anything from the 4x squared, I'm still going to bring that 4x squared down. Now, let's think about it one last time. What number do you multiply 4x squared with in order to get 4x squared? That's just 1, right? So now, 1 times 4x squared is going to be 4x squared. And then 1 times 1 is going to be 1. That's what I'm subtracting from the polynomial over here. I notice that the x squares are going to go away. And I'm going to be left with minus 1 over here. And I got to bring down this minus 4x. So this 4x, negative 4x minus 1, I'm just going to rewrite it as negative 4x plus 1. So when, when I divide this big polynomial by 4x squared plus 1, I end up with 5x squared plus 4x plus 1 minus 4x plus 1 divided by 4x squared plus 1. So the way that you write that is going to be p of x equals... What is this? This is going to be um, d of x, which is 4x squared, 
plus one times what is my q of x is going to be five x squared plus four x plus one. However, I'm going to write here minus 4x plus 1 over 4x squared plus 1. And there you have it. That is my solution for this problem right here. There you have it. Thank you.